Hey sourcers and recruiters out there, Tony Steeman, Senior Sourcing Recruiter with Pinstripe Talent. Uh, recently myself and Adam Gotson as well as Brent Liebel, two of my counterparts and friends at Pinstripe, took a course offered free from Google's Insight Search Department called Power Searching with Google. And it's just as it says, a short course on becoming a great internet searcher. This is a free course that offered six classes and it is a certification course so you get a certification when you complete it. And basically these six courses Courses call cover all the advanced searching techniques ins and outs at Google and so it really gave us an inside look at how Google is compartmentalized and the best way to use it uh, to search for different things and also we've applied those techniques into the sourcing and recruiting world and that's what we want to share with you so we will be collaborating us three will be collaborating to give you two great video blogs um, the first video blog is going to focus on the top three things we learned from the first three classes and the second video blog will be the top three things we learned from the second set of three classes and that will be coming in about a week or so so I'm gonna give it over to Adam who's gonna talk about Google image search for resumes and I hope you enjoy our first video blog on power searching with Google hi everyone Adam Godson recruitment technology specialist with pinstripe I'm gonna show you how to use a quick tip from Google's power searching course to find resumes through Google's image search you may be used Google Image Search to find clip art for a presentation or to send a funny picture to a friend, but it's also a powerful sourcing tool. Let's take a quick look. So first I need to go to Google Images. Click on Images here and you'll see the Google Images um, appear here in the center. And then we're going to find some images. So let's type a search, search query. Let's find something that's difficult. Let's find a design engineer with experience in robotics. And because I'm going to look for a resume, I'm going to type in the word resume but also a couple of negative keywords. I don't want to find samples from resume writing companies and so I'm going to type in uh, negative words for sample resume, um, template, maybe example, words like that uh, so that I don't get those false positives from uh, resume writing companies. And I'll, let's do a quick search. Alright, so I've got some images and that's what I wanted. This is an image search of course but this is a lot of images to look at and none of them are resumes so they're all people. So I'm going to need to use some filters to find some resumes. I have 108,000 results so we're in good shape. We have lots of images to find. I'm going to use the color palette down here on the lower left in order to filter these images. Uh, essentially this will search, um, will filter the images by a certain color. So if I want ones that are more blue I can click on blue. This gives me the blue images. I can click on the ones that are green. This will give me the green images. Resumes, of course, are mostly black and white. So I'm going to get black and white images. This looks like a winning idea. I have lots of black and white, but you can see here I've got some resumes. So I find a resume. This looks like a winner. So I can um, start looking through some of these. But I still have too many false positives in here. I have 54,700 results. I don't want to look through all those. And so what I'm going to do is find one that I like. I'll find one that looks a lot like a resume. And then on the bottom left hand corner of this you can see that where it says the word similar. This is going to give me visually similar images and the images that are similar to resumes should be well more resumes. And so as I click on that I'm down to 146 results. The robotics design engineers are probably fairly rare but most of what I have here are resumes. I have a few schematics uh, and other graphs uh, and types of things in here but mostly I have resumes for candidates. This is a way you can use Google Images to find resumes your competitors aren't finding. Hey everyone, this is Brent Liebel, interviewing specialist with Pinstripe Talent. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. The second tip our team has learned from the Google Power Searching course deals with using the site colon command, or x-ray command in Google Search. To be specific, I want to spend a moment talking to you about using the site colon command to search for Google Plus profiles. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, site colon is a command in Boolean searching that allows you to index a website through the use of URL. This works very well in Google, and you can actually use it for indexing profiles within Google+. Google+, Plus is a Google social media alternative to Facebook. It may not be as big as Facebook, but it's still a viable source for finding profiles. Let me give you an example. Suppose you're trying to use the site colon to index Google Plus for profiles of a candidate who has chemistry experience from the pharmaceutical industry. First you go to google.com, then you enter the site colon command. From there you add in the website, which in this case is plus.google.com, directly following the site colon command. Remember, no spaces. 
from there, you would enter the specifics of your string. And in this case, I'm looking for someone with chemistry experience in the pharmaceutical industry. So I'm going to use chemistry and pharma. After that, you can take out things that you're not looking for. So in this case, I'm going to subtract URL, colon, post, and jobs, and job. This should take out most articles about the pharmaceutical and chemistry industry. And then combining that, it's going to take out any job advertisements, leaving you with only profiles of candidates that you can contact. So here's what our final string is going to look like. It's going to be site colon plus that google.com, chemistry and pharma, and then minus in URL colon post, minus jobs, minus job. And as you can see, we're pulling back some great candidate profiles off of Google+. And I hope this has been helpful for you. And always remember to mix up your search strings for the best results and see what really works for you. Hey, sourcers and recruiters out there. Tony Steeman, Senior Sourcing Recruiter with Pinstripe Talent in Johns Manville. As you know, Brent and Adam have given you some great tips that we've learned from our Google Power Searching class, or at least the first half of the class. And I would like to go ahead and round that out by giving you the third tip that we took away, and that is searching for specific file types in Google. You know that you can actually target file types to pull back in your search. And Google uses the file type command, which is what I want to show you today, to pull back specific documents in a search. So, for example, if you want to pull back all Excel spreadsheets, you would use file type colon XLS. And remember that you don't want any spaces in your search, your, your search string here at the beginning, especially when using these commands. So it's going to be file type colon XLS. And as you can see here, every result that comes back in this search is an Excel spreadsheet because that's the Excel spreadsheet e extension. So imagine that I wanted to use this for recruiting and target uh, safety engineers. I'm going to go out and look for an association which I know the American Society of Safety Engineers or ASSE.org is a great network of safety engineers. So I'm going to target them and see if I can pull back a list of candidates using the file type command. Let's go ahead and start with this example. I'm going to type in file type colon XLS. Remember, no spaces in this part of the search string. And then I'm going to type in ASSE.org or ASSE and put brackets around it. So I have my OR statement enclosed following my Boolean rules. And then in addition, I'm going to type in, in another bracket, the words phone or email because I'm targeting a list of candidates and I want them to either have a phone or email address ready. I may even also plug in other things like name, or I mean like list or members or membership or directory or something like that. And when I go ahead and click on my search here, and using the file type command, I pull back all Excel spreadsheets. And if you notice here, some of my first few results, I found the entire directory of the ASSE.org from, it looks like, 2011. So this is going to be a pretty credible list for me to contact. And as I open it up here, you'll see that this is an awesome list that includes names, phone numbers, and email addresses. And so this is a cool way that you can use a file type command in searching Google for specific documents to help you find candidates that you need to fill your positions. Thanks so much.